What is up guys? Welcome into a brand new video. Now we are doing something slightly different today. Um, every week we're going to go through kind of news that's happened with Cricket 24 and different games, different cricket games, different actual cricket real life stuff. We're going to go through some of that. We're going to look at patches. We're going to look at any glitches and stuff that's new into the game. Different things like that. Um, we'll try it for a couple of weeks. We'll see how it goes. Um, let me know down in the comments if you enjoy it. Um, but if you could leave a like on the video, subscribe if you haven't already. It does massively help out the channel. We'll get straight into it and see how we get on. Okay, now, uh, we had a couple of patches from Big Ant this week. Um, this was the first one. Um, so they added the Australian West Indies uh, new uniforms because they are new. They added some 2023 editions of the Cookaburra Beast uh, Aurora. Uh, Kahuna, Shadow, Ghost, and Empower. Um, they added accessibility setting to disabled field look around toggle. Um, optimized simulation time. So hopefully that should be the wait time in career mode, like completely gone. Fingers crossed. I mean, it would be great if it was. It really would. Um, I know a couple of people, especially on console, I don't really have it on PC, luckily. I know a lot of people that play on console, PS5s, new Xboxes, even that, still struggling with it. Um, restored ability to apply sponsored logos to generic pad styles. That's pretty cool. Um, so you can basically have whatever pads you want and download them from the community. The option to set sponsored and generic pad had been disabled with this was addressed. Okay, perfect. Did batters incorrectly swapping ends? Okay, so basically there was a glitch where I can't remember what the glitch was, what caused it. I think it might have been a no ball. If you bowled a no ball, it would then go off to like Narnia and you just stare at the, just literally just stare at the um, the kind of ground for a little bit, sort of stands pretty much. Um, and then when you'd come back onto bowl, it would be the other batsman strike, even if they hadn't taken a run. I had no idea why. Um, improved likenesses for various England, West Indies, and Australia players. Perfect. I haven't actually seen them. Improved commentary. I have the commentary turned off. I don't even bother with it. I, I've always thought it's crap. I think it's crap on every single sports game there is. So I usually just turn it off. Um, and stability improvements. You kind of We get that at every single patch, really. There's nothing really new. Now, the other patch was a little bit more interesting. So this is the patch notes for the 7th of December when the patch came out. Luckily, I can't believe we got two patches last week. You usually only get one at a time. You obviously have the stability improvements, um, but you also got new added the way that the pitch wears. So for the first time, we've actually got working cracks. So as the, as the game will go on in a test match, you'll start to see cracks develop. Now, I'll pull up a few pitches. So... Basically, this is what they've come up with. So there is genuinely like kind of cracks. And apparently if the ball hits the crack, it will move differently. I haven't tried it myself. I haven't really gone that far into a test match. All the saves that I've got going on at the moment aren't really that far into the game or a pre-patch that won't come in. But it looks good. It actually looks good. Um, a couple of complaints that I have seen about it is that it's not random enough. So you just get these no matter what. And they're kind of always in the same place. And they kind of do the same thing. Whereas there's obviously it's completely random where the pitch cracks. But it looks good. Apparently it plays good. Um, so I'm really excited to see how that works. Now, moving on. We had a trailer for uh, Real Cricket 24 drop and release. So the game is now out on mobile. Um, and this was the trailer that they released for it. Now, I've always struggled with games like this. I really have. Just for the simple fact of that they're mobile games and they just feel really clunky to deal with. Um, but it looks good. Um, apparently, you can. there's like a community that you can download all the, all the kind of real players from. So that won't be an issue. Um, but uh, yeah, the graphics look awful, like genuinely awful. But it's a mobile game. It's kind of what you get. Um, so it's one of those. There's a few cool animations in it. Um, again, stuff that I would like to see come into Cricket 24. But I mean, as a mobile game, it's not terrible. Um, but it just looks... It just looks funny. I mean, obviously, you've got the IPL draft or whatever it's meant to be. Um, yeah, I mean, it kind of, it looks a little bit like Sims 2, is my issue. Maybe even Sims 1. 
Um, but that's the trailer for it. Um, there's a couple of things that they're going to add as well. So there is also going to be, before you get into the game, you're going to have a pitch report. You can check the boundary sizes, which I, again, I'm not sure why you'd want to see that, but I guess it's cool. You'll see players in the dugout for T20s and stuff like that. The IPL auction will be in there. You'll also apparently have sledging in the game, which I guess would be cool. I mean, it seems interesting. Outfielding dives. Again, they all look good, but again, the, the actual animation of it looks good but the diving and stuff the actual game itself doesn't look great toss officials so you'll go out there with a reporter and the match referee for instance which is fine team lineup on the screen um kind of stuff that you'd expect to see but that is going to be real cricket 24 let us know down in the comments if you want us to see, uh, see us play a little bit of that maybe we'll try and get it on pc maybe we will try and get it um on mobile depends what happens really now the next bit of news that we got from the kind of cricket gaming world is that we've got a character reveal um on the gods of cricket game now i made a video on this last week but this is how the character is going to look it doesn't actually look terrible it looks okay like the problem is is that you're getting these kind of in engine kind of cinematic views rather than how the game will actually look but if this if it actually looks like this then it will be unreal but because that actually looks really good but i can't imagine that all the movement and things like that are going to be like that but that that's that's how they said that the um the character's going to look in the game now th this next I was, I was scrolling through the cricket 22 reddit as i do um as a man that has zero life and this one this one this one tickled me slightly so we've got rashid khan has gone for an absolute burton no idea where he's gone uh and there's a fielder under the ball ready to take it um one issue he's 10 foot back i mean what is that i mean just look so he he falls off i mean i think this is online which is the issue and online is just so laggy just all the time um although actually saying that i don't think you can catch it online i'm not 100 sure i can't see the thing up there but uh, looks a bit of a mess i have to admit now i saw a couple of glitches this week of how to take wickets really easily um so uh, kind of this one technique is something similar we did in cricket 22 and i did make a video on it on cricket 22 but it seems to be just bowl it with a spinner ridiculously far outside leg stump like as wide as you possibly can and they kind of it gets just caught by short leg or it gets caught on the boundary or the keeper grabs it now, the problem is, is obviously this isn't necessarily realistic cricket. So if you want it to be a realistic sim, um, then go for it. But at the end of the day, um, it's, it's, it's not great. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't carry on doing this if you want to actually have fun with the game. Because the problem is you'll be like this for like a couple of hours and be like, oh my God, look how many wickets I can take. And then the game just gets boring after a while. But if you do want to take a load of wickets, that is how you do it. Now on to some real cricket. Pakistan are currently in Australia um, and they were playing a Prime Minister's 11 um, down in Australia. But for some reason, so this game got cancelled um, because the covers blew off the pitch. Um, which is how how is that happening in like an international ground uh, I, I mean maybe not it's, an, it's not an international kind of game but i mean surely you can put pegs in a tarpaulin at this point surely i mean I, I i saw someone make a video on this and there was a lot of um and he said if this happened to australia in another country they'd be spitting feathers they'd say in how much of a joke it is but it just kind of gets laughed off and and just i don't know what's meant to happen i mean this is absolutely terrible that the game just gets called off now the only thing that i will say is i don't think pakistan were that interested in playing this game anyway um i think they were kind of forced into it. i think they just wanted a bit of kind of free practice and and crack on i don't think a lot of teams like to do the kind of regimented player first class game anymore um which i guess is understandable with the amount of cricket that is now being played you don't want to shove another four game on for just for the sake of it um and it looked like it was going to be a draw anyway at the end now this wasn't even the worst story in australia when it comes to pitches this week so just i mean this video is coming out on monday um sunday morning in uk time sunday night in australia um the perth scorchers and melbourne renegades game was called off due to un an unsafe pitch um i mean i have seen kind of videos it looks like it was seeming around a bit it looks like it was doing what i wasn't watching it live but i've seen some clips um but again it just sounded like the pitch got wet 
like can can no one in australia put covers on properly i mean what's happening over there i mean how have you had two games in a week get called off because the covers have come off and the pitch has got wet like i have no idea and for the pitch to be classed as unsafe I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. Um, now, there was a few people that said that the ICC were going to look into this, um, but the Melbourne Renegades just said that the BCCI made the pitch and the ICC rated it as average and everyone moved on with it. Um, so that's absolutely fine. And obviously the BCCI can do whatever they want. And as a result of this, they have asked the Melbourne Renegades to cut the pitch out and send it to India for the first test against England. So England have just finished uh, three T20s against India. That's the women's, the women's team, of course. Um, England end up taking the series 2-1. Um, I've been pretty impressive um, from the England women. Um, two good wins to start off with. Absolutely hammered them in the second. Um, and the third one actually got quite close at the end, um, if it wasn't for an expensive um, Sophie Eccleston over at the end. But just watching her, especially in the first two games, she is genuinely the best spinner in England. Like, male or female, like, it just does not matter. She's so good. Um, and I, I tweeted it out, I think it was after the first or the second game, but if Ben Stokes... If Ben Stokes is possible to pick Sophie Eccleston for the tour, for the Test series in India, you should do it. Like genuinely, she could play men's cricket quite easily. She is that good. She is by far and away the best player in the women's game in the world, and quite comfortably. Now I know she played. I think she has played some like kind of lanks like Premier Division cricket, which is a decent level of cricket. I think she kind of cleaned up in it. Um, now I know it's not Test matches in India. Um, but you've got to say that an Indian pitch has got to be better off than a kind of April in blanks on a pitch that hasn't been covered in three years. Um, th that's my thought anyway, but I would have her in my 11 for the men's tests um, in the winter. Now, last but not least, um, England versus West Indies. West Indies end up taking the series 2-1 in the ODIs um, going into the five T20s that we've got coming up this week. Um, England were poor uh, most of the time. Uh, pretty, I'd say, I wouldn't say dominant in the second game, but we won comfortably. Um, it was good to see Butler back in the runs. Um, but the performance Saturday night um, was awful. Now, no one will know this um, because, one, no one stayed up till 2 o'clock in the morning to watch the game. Why would you? Completely not a waste of time. Um, if you did, you're a degenerate. Um, I did stay up and watched it. Um, and also, no one could possibly ever afford TNT Sports. It's about a £1,000 a day just to sign up to TNT Sport and Discovery+. Plus. Um, and if I see the Barmy Army tweet out one more time that you can watch this game on TNT Sport and Discovery+, Plus, um, I'm going to end it. I mean, it's just, I'm not buying it. I'm on a, I'm on a dodgy stream. Like, I'll, I'll admit it. I'm happy to admit it. I'm not spending £30 a month for whatever it is three premier league games i'm a chelsea fan we're not in the champions league what do i need that for we're never going to be in the champions league again but that's a different story we'll talk about cricket today um but yeah no england were poor um butler needs to step down as captain i'd, I'd want to see mott go first mott has to go um flintoff should be the only i uh coach um it might be a little bit early i mean morgan would be the kind of first choice if we can get morgan back in that would be great but then there's kind of uh, it might be a bit of a dilemma in the in the kind of coaching side so i don't know but i think someone like flintoff and something like that you know i think you need some someone laid back um and i think the problem is is that butler doesn't quite have that edge um that he's going to fire up the team so maybe you need someone that can fire up that team a little bit more um I don't think Matthew Mott is doing that. I don't think Matthew Mott actually does anything. I'm convinced I've never seen him speak. Um, I'm convinced he doesn't actually exist. Um, so it is what it is. But that is going to be it for this week's kind of new segment. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please remember to leave a like. Please remember to subscribe. And if you liked today's video, um, I hope you did. Let us know down in the comments. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.